Good morning, guys. I have already made two trips to this dumpster, but it is absolutely loaded. And there's still more for me to take. So uh, I'm going to get hauling and update you guys after. This is the $5 store I just pulled up to, and obviously there's tons and tons of Easter baskets. It looks like they may have pulled one of the little nails out or whatever that connects the handles, but I'm hoping it's not destroyed too badly so that I can take them home. Alright, here it is guys. I can barely even, well I can't even fit it in the frame here, but an absolutely, absolutely humongous, huge, ginormous dumpster dive haul most of which came from one dumpster. I gave you a little bit of a glimpse at. I had to go back three times because of my new small car, but luckily it's close. And this was just insane. And there were tons more curtains that I didn't even take. So, ridiculous. But we'll start over here with the basic staples of the haul. Um, this came from a pharmacy, obviously, but this location I have never been to before. It's a little bit farther away, but I was at the gym. Um... So I decided to stop by. I have two, four, six of these little Captain Crunch Berry cereal. Two, four of the Raisin Band Crunch. A whole little case here of Nature Valley biscuits and then some Nutri Valley peanut butter bars. A little mountain of nuts and seeds, which is good because I haven't found those in a while. Some fudge stripes, some Nutter Butters, quite a few Oreo packs. Um, Sandy's Pecan and Rainbow Chip Cookies, some Potato Chips, Store Brand Cheese Twists, some Fudge Dipped Oreos, Salt and Vinegar Chips right there, White Chocolate cheese it uh, not White Chocolate, White Cheddar Cheez-Its, I love White Cheddar flavored things, my absolute favorite. Underneath we have some marshmallows, three little cartons of Goldfish right there, um, and that's all that came in that bag. And this pile of candy here came from a different pharmacy chain. Um, same one I found the cards at in my last video. So this is the first non-card item I've ever found at that store. So exciting. Just a little bucket of candy. Um, this, this is just frosting. <laughs> it came from Easter cookie decorating kits, but they had ripped them open, so I just took the frosting. Still perfectly fine. Right here, I have no idea why this was thrown out came from that store. It was one dollar. It's literally just one diaper. Just one diaper. So it's not open or anything. I don't know why they threw it out. But I took it and then from that same store I found these super super cute little baby shoes. Um, so if you guys have been watching you know where these will be going to my boyfriend's brother's baby that will be born in just a few weeks here. These are zero to six months. Mickey Mouse. Super adorable. Uh, those were thrown out because there's like a white thing right there, but I can get that off. I've already started picking at it. All right, let's finish up before we get to like the mega haul from the one store. This came from that location. It's a reed diffuser. It has the scent and the reeds. It came in a box with a whole bunch of broken ones, but this one's just fine. And then you saw a little clip of this as well. I was able to save 11... I can't, I can't even get them apart. I was able to save 11 Easter baskets, and these ones are just fine. Um, so that's that's great for next year. I'm thankful for that. And uh, the rest of them, they did end up squishing and tearing the things off and busting out the bottoms there, but these ones they did not. So next year, I'll just have to buy some boy ones, and we'll be good to go. And these were all $4 each, so that right there is $44, which this, like, the retail value of this haul would be insane. <laughs> All right, so everything else came from one store on one day. I have two. Oh, <laughs> I also have a big, like a big bag of Fig Newton cookies that came from the dollar store, but that's in my car, and <laughs> I didn't want to go get it. So I'm just going to tell you about it. Maybe I'll insert a picture. Maybe not. Who knows? But there's that. Anyways, back to this one store. I have two of these kids' mermaid tail blankets. It even has the cardboard still in it. This is like a little chopper. I've always kind of wanted one of these. Obviously it looks like somebody used it and washed it and returned it, but I'll give it a go. I have some meat thermometers. One is missing, but that is fine. I don't need four meat thermometers. This is Calvin Klein um, men's deodorant. And it's brand new. It still has like the plastic on it. 
So I will definitely be giving that to my boyfriend. He will enjoy that. He likes all the other Calvin Klein stuff that I've found in the past. Sorry, I'm trying to back up without stepping on anything I have on the ground. I have this cool little jar. Just a storage jar. It has a rooster on the top. This was a set of three, but the other two were broken, which is okay. I just needed the one, so that's fine. Well, I don't need it, but, you know, whatever. This is a Rove vacuum insulated. It's not a water bottle per se, but definitely can be a water bottle or soup, I guess, something like that. Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. You just twist this off and it's good to go. The inside looks great. So I will keep that, I think. I have two earphones. One is Bluetooth and the other is just regular. Uh, some Mickey and Minnie Valentines. Those are good until August of 2021, so I think I might keep those or give them away. Who knows? I have some earrings. Kind of cute. This is super cute. It's a little distressed white frame. Uh, they threw it out because the hook on the back, not the hook, but the stand on the back fell off. The glass is still in it, but I can definitely just prop that up on something and keep that, so I love that. This is a brand new watch. It says Italia, but who knows. It was only $17. Pretty cheap, but it's a brand new watch, so um, great find there. Same with this. I have no idea why this was thrown out. Um, I do live in the Metro Detroit area. I've been to many a Tigers game before. I'm actually going later in the season, so maybe I'll keep this. Even though it's men's, it doesn't really matter. That was $8. Has all of its tags on it. Brand new. Perfect. I have some socks. These are men's socks. And then I got some women's socks as well. And this still has the security tag on it, but that's fine. Uh, so that's a great find. Men's and women's socks. Oh, pulled one out. I have three tagless tanks from Hanes. Again, brand new package. Six dollars, no reason for that to be thrown out. And uh, this shirt set has its tag on it still as well. It's just a blue button down with a blue tie. There's a tag here somewhere, but it was clearanced, I think, for like eleven dollars, thirteen dollars. Yep, so there's that. Uh, I have no idea what this is. It's a seahorse, but there was something that was supposed to be there. If you can see inside, there's like a smelly satchel, satchel, sachet. One of those. Um, I don't know what it was supposed to be, but, you know, he's here doing his thing. <laughs> uh, and then I have these little bath toys. There were supposed to be 12, but there's only 7 in here, which is fine. They're super cute, though. You know, you can spray the water. They're just little animals, little lion. Look how cute that is. So there's that. I guess I'll finish up on the table here. This is actually really cool. I wish, honestly, that it was just this inside bulb and not the lantern. I'm sure I can actually take that out, so I might. But um, I've never really found a lantern like this before. Let me turn it on. I put some batteries in it. Look how cool. It's almost like a diamond. Well, it is a diamond shape in there. That's cool. Uh, three of the panels of glass are gone, but one is still in there. And it is just fine. Obviously, it works. I just showed you. And I think that was, yep, $7.99. $8 there. All right, moving onward, I have this scale. It is not brand new. Obviously, somebody had it because it's a little scuffed up, but it does work. Oh, sorry, I cracked my fingers. Let me see if I can... There we go. Yep, so it even had the batteries in it already. Works just fine. Um, right here, I have this broken planter full of fake plants. <laughs> not necessarily succulents, but I'm going to take those out, throw the base away, and use those in my decorations. Uh, we'll just keep going. <laughs> I have two sets of hooks. There were some more, but I only took these two. I like the bottom one. It's kind of a more grayish natural wood, but I like the top one as well. Those are good in hallways, bathrooms, bedrooms, whatever. Uh, I wish I could... Here, pardon my bad filming for a second. Let me just open this up. Oh, while you're here, $6.99, which is an excellent deal for these cups. Give me one more second. Sorry, everyone. All right. Uh, there's one of them, and there's eight in there, and not a single one is broken. There's no chips, cracks, nothing. They're perfect. So that's an excellent, excellent, excellent find. And six ninety nine is a great deal for that. So <laughs> uh, if you're in the market, I guess go buy those. And then last thing on the table here, I have two of these BB bath rugs. Pink, plush, nothing wrong with them. They didn't cut them up or anything, which I'm thankful for. 
Uh, they're super cute. I I want to put them in my bathroom, but I don't want to make it too girly because I'm not the only one that lives here. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, and then right here, super cute elephant. My sister loves elephants. I think I'll give that to her. It's just that the half of the base is broken, but he's fine. He still stands. No issues. Let's go down here. Uh, I thought this was a curtain, but I think it's a tablecloth now. I took it uh, for Christmas time so I can decorate with it at Christmas. And then behind that is a beige curtain. Oh, I'm messing things up. Okay. This was also a great deal. $12 or 13 I guess, for a pair of grommeted panel curtains. This reminds me of mermaids. Blue, sparkly, cute. And then one last curtain set over here. This one has little buttons on it. That's cute as well. Just gray. Nothing too spectacular, but still, I mean, it was free, so it's spectacular. Right here I have another BB product. It says she's got that Girl Boss Hustle. Brand new beach towel. It's very soft. Huge. It does have some marks on it, but I think I will be able to get that out just fine. And below that I have some bath towels. I have, <clears throat> sorry, they're not folded because they're still like awkwardly stuck together. Two smaller hand towels and two bigger towels. They are this brand. They feel nice, so I have never actually found towels before, so I'm going to keep those. That's fun. And here's our little sheet section. <laughs> oh, here's more BB. I have a Six Peaks King set, which, I mean, it's brand new. It's never been out of its container. That's very nice. A black four-piece king set, and then a Betsy Johnson red queen four-piece? Four I don't know. Uh, it's embossed with, like, roses. Can you guys see that? Cool. We do have a queen bed, but king fits just fine, so I will be keeping these. And then I have some pillowcases. This one on top is so pretty. I wish there was another one, but that's okay. just has a little lace on the side here. I have this gray one with the squares, and then I have four of these Eiffel Tower flower, flower ones, which are very pretty. Moving this way, 16-piece Gibson stoneware dinner set, but mine is only 15 pieces because there's one bowl missing. But everything else is intact. There's the mugs, the salad plates, and the dinner plates. Everything else absolutely perfect. Moving up here, I have an Izod Twin XL Plush Blanket, very, very soft, brand new. And underneath that, this one's ginormous. I want to say it's a King um, Nantucket brand fuzzy plush blanket. Super nice. I think I'll keep that one. And finishing out over here with the crazy good stuff. Sorry if this haul has been a little all over the place. It was kind of hard to organize. So a lot of this stuff says debit on it. What I'm assuming is that when something gets returned with a debit card, they can't like get it back in the system or something. That's just my guess because a lot of the things that I find say debit on them. But this is like a little crib bumper sheet set. Cute. Whales on it. And this right here, honestly, is my, well, I, I'd say my favorite find this haul. It is a suitcase. Calvin Klein, as you can see. $140, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It wheels. They didn't tear it at all. They didn't cut it at all. The zippers work. The pockets are fine. It's very, very lightweight, but super good quality, so I'm excited about that. I have this four-tier shoe organizer. Packaging is a little ripped up, but it's actually kind of cute, so I might keep that. Who knows? And then the last of the goods, which is the crazy stuff, brand new. Um, see, again, it says debit on it. This is an extra tall safety gate for a baby or a dog, I guess, but obviously it's in its packaging. I haven't checked these out to make sure that all the pieces are there, but I'm going to assume they are. I will check just to be safe, but I mean, ridiculous. And right here, this is cute as well. It was $20. It's just a little Minnie Mouse umbrella stroller. Again, nothing wrong with it cute. Right here is a Deluxe Sweet Beginnings Bassinet. This one was $50. And behind that, I have an Ingenuity 
Dream and Grow Bedside Bassinet. So it goes from like an infant to a little bit of an older baby. And that was $100. So just an insane, insane haul. That's everything that I managed to snag. Um, I'm happy with this haul, but it's going to take me a while to like delegate where to put everything. Regardless, this is insane. Uh, thanks, thanks for tagging along <laughs> and looking at my haul here. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will be back soon with another dumpster diving related video. And like I always say, once I hit that 10K mark, I'm going to do an awesome giveaway for all of my subscribers. So thank you again. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back soon.